Jonathan, they use it. They twist a woman into so many knots, she starts to believe that she's actually responsible. That it's her fault. That she pushed him too far. Maggie's a fighter. There's no way that she would put up with that. Sounds like Maggie's too off balance to fight. If she's like most victims, she's convinced herself that she has to do the right thing and say the right thing and the abuse will stop. Will you just tell me what I did wrong? What I said, I'm just trying to make sense of this. I lost it when you said you were disappointed in me. You called me stupid how many times? I, I felt like I was under attack and I wanted it to stop, so I lashed out. And I'm an idiot. I did it with my fist instead of words. I love you so much. I just, I want to be everything to you. And if I think you look down on me, if I think that you feel like I'm an idiot, oh, I don't... Oh, no, no, no. I don't. I love you so much. I never meant to hurt you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never do that again. That's how it was for me when I was raped. I thought for sure that it was my fault. Then you have a, a beat on what's going on in Maggie's head. I was so ashamed. I thought that I was the one who set Michael off. As crazy as it sounds, I thought that I was the one to blame. Thank God that, that you got through it. Yeah, with counseling and because of Maggie. I wish you'd known her then. She was fearless. She was the first person that I told and the only person that I knew that I could count on. Really, I knew that I could tell her anything and everything, and somehow I felt that it would make everything okay. God, why did I ever let go of that? May I have this dance? Maggie's apartment and grab her and yank her out of there. All she would do is fight to stay. What are we supposed to do? Just watch? Just give her more pamphlets to rip up? You you be her friend. Spend time with her. Try to get back the relationship that you used to have. Because if you push her too far, she's going to run. Yeah, I did that and she's gone. Hey, did you, uh, you see the look on Ryan's face? He was really surprised. Okay, what's wrong? Did I say something was wrong? Well, I thought that you had a good time tonight. What happened? What was up with you in Greenland? Nothing. The two of you with your heads together? You didn't think I'd notice? No, I, I was just showing her my bracelet and telling her what a wonderful boyfriend you are. You're so obvious, Maggie. You're wrong. See, you're doing it again. What am I doing? You're pushing all my buttons. It's like you're trying to make me crazy. Begging for another bruise so you can run off and go get more sympathy from Bianca. No, I don't. No, I don't. Do Jonathan, come on. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. Really want to marry me? Forget it. Yeah, I'm sorry I asked. I should have known you'd, you'd say no. No, no, no. I, ha I haven't said anything yet. No, you don't want to hurt my feelings. You can say it. I can take it. You don't love me. No, I do love you. Yeah, you, you feel sorry for me, right? 
Brian's a loser, brother. He can't keep a job. He can't keep a woman. Oh, dude, don't look at me that way, okay? I don't need your pity. I'm the fool on the planet, huh? No one would even know I'm gone. That's not true. I would. I want to spend my life with you. You don't have to humor me. Yes. Okay, I get it. Yes. Yes. Let's just do it. Let's do it. I want to be your wife. I want to spend my life with you. yesterday and I knocked on your door and nobody answered. So? So I was so worried that I didn't even sleep last night. Well, you can take a pill for that. I don't want a pill. I want our friendship back. I'm not gonna let you go. You ask a lot, Bianca. I don't know how we can be friends anymore. Well, I'm not going to give up on us because we've been through way too much together. Well, things change. They don't have to. Maggie, I, I've never had a friend like you before. I can tell you anything. Silly or stupid or, or terrible. You're the one that I count on. So please be mad at me, hate me, tear my head off, but don't cut me off. Things are different. We can figure this out. We have to. Okay, well then you have to, you have to lay off Jonathan. Can you admit that he's a good guy? I want to respect your choices and I want to believe that you know Jonathan better than I do. Okay, then take my word for it. He is a good guy. Now how about congratulating me? Okay, about what? Jonathan proposed. And... Well, we're eloping. It's me. You can't elope. We love each other. Why wait? Waiting's not a bad thing. How long have you guys been together? Like six months, right? That's a blink when you're talking about a lifetime commitment. Okay, you're not really going to give me a lecture on relationships, are you? No, I'm, I'm just saying, don't you want to get to know him a little bit better before you plunge into something permanent? I know him. How well? Well enough. Better than you do. You know, just come out and say it, Bianca. What do you know about Jonathan that I don't? Kendall thinks Jonathan could be the one that drugged Greenlee. Yeah, I heard that one, too. Come on, consider the source. Kendall, queen of liars. And in case you're really interested, Ryan doesn't believe that lie either. And I didn't say that I believed it, but it was enough to give me pause. Doesn't this even bother you a little bit? Well, am I going to break up with Jonathan because Kendall is paranoid? No. I'm not saying 